Hello and welcome to the Birmingham Post Business Bulletin on Tuesday, March the 16th. I'm Tom Scotney. The government's inquiry into the takeover of Cadbury has just started and the new American owners are facing some tough questions. Kraft Vice President Mark Firestone is appearing in front of the Parliamentary Business Committee today and unions representing the workers at Cadbury have called for a change in the company takeover rules after the controversial sale of the firm to Kraft. There are worries about the future of jobs at the Bourneville plant and further afield. Kraft said when it took over the company that it wouldn't be making redundancies, but it later said it would be going ahead with plans to close the Somerdale factory near Bristol, as well as cutting about 150 jobs at the headquarters in Uxbridge. Jack Dromey of the Unite Union will also be giving you evidence at the committee meeting today. He wants the government to introduce what he calls Cadbury Law to stop hostile takeovers of British companies that are not in the public interest. And he said that Kraft had showed a cynical attitude towards its new employees. Well, MP Peter Luff, who will chair the Business and Enterprise Committee meeting, said he wanted to know why Kraft had gone back on promises not to close the Bristol plant. Cadbury itself had already planned to shut it down and move production to Poland before it was bought, but Kraft had said it would reverse this decision if it took control of the firm. Well, we'll be following that throughout the day on the website, and there'll be plenty more on this story to come. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow. What, 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 what.